Hello and welcome to Talking Tolkien. Today we're going to look at a book that's just been released, or an edition of a book that's just been released, and this is Unfinished Tales. So before we get down to it, I'll give a quick history on the book itself and what it is. So it was released, this is the old copy that I've got, and was released in 1980 by George Allen and Unwin. And the idea with this was after the Silmarillion had been published in 1977, Christopher Tolkien, in the process of making that, realised he'd still got a load of his father's material that was still unpublished. So he kind of thought there may be a market for that. And as a consequence, he put a number of those um, stories into this, which tidied up some of those loose ends and provided some narratives. So that's where the book came about. Um, because of its success, this kind of led to the History of Middle-earth series, which is the 12 book series. Um, which kind of ties in the, the entire history and chronology of Tolkien's work. Um, but this was really the prototype for that. In an ideal world, this would never have existed and it would have become, all well, the, the stories that are inside of it, would have become part of the history of Middle-earth. But that's really what this was. It was a prototype for that. So that was the original one, 1980, published. It's been reprinted over the years. The other copy I've got is this one, which has quite a nice um, cover on there but it's never been illustrated before. And then we learned that this year, um, after the um, Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, that, that illustrated edition was published, which I did in a video a few months ago, we now get this one. Okay, so should we have a look? Yeah, let's have a look. Okay, so first of all, it's quite a big book, quite a lot of pages to it, just because there's, there's quite a lot in here. Um, you can see the cover there. Now, what's different about this one is um, the edition earlier of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit was illustrated by Alan Lee. And whereas this one has got illustrations by Alan Lee, John Howe and Ted Nasmith. So um, Alan Lee, John Howe both worked on the films, so you've probably seen quite a lot of their work around. Uh, Ted Nasmith may be not quite as uh, well known because he didn't work on the films, um, but he's published... He's had some of his paintings published in like the Silmarillion. There's a copy of that with his illustrations on, and I think I've got a video of that as well if you have a look around. But yeah, so this is the book. Okay, so there's the cover. Really nice piece on the back as well there. Now, if you have seen like those editions of Lord of the Rings that were published earlier this year, that box set, it's very similar to that in that the, there um, you go, Here's the title page. Hopefully you can see that okay. But you see how the colour's there? It's got the title colour. So we've got that. Um, other interesting things. Here's the copyright page for it. And hopefully you can see that. But if you notice on there, it says this edition was first published by, is it Unwin Hyman or something in 1980? Whereas the original publishers were George Allen and Unwin. So that was spotted already, so I guess that will be changed and amended for the, the next edition. Um, but then, yeah, so you probably want to know about the pictures, which is the main draw of this. So here's a list of the plates that are in here. According to this, there's 18 in total. Okay, so we can see a list there. I won't go through each of them, because... I know it doesn't come out that well on the camera, um, but I will give you an idea. So there's an example. That's just a sketch for the first age, one of the chapters there. And then we get things like this. I'd say because you're going back into the first age and second age, there's more of the, more of the fantasy element, I suppose, with a lot of these stories than is in Lord of the Rings, so they've maybe got some more license there to do more. This must be a Ted Nasmith uh, picture. It's quite distinctive, his style. It's actually my favourite of the authors. So with 500 pages in here and, what, 20, 1920 illustrations, it's not going to be quite as, uh, as many pictures in here per page as you've seen with some of the previous editions, but... Um, it's certainly a nice, nice book. As I say, it's well bound. You've got a ribbon in there. Um, 
The front piece is really nice. So there's the inside of the dust jacket and then we've got the, the map there. Okay, there's the book itself. So nice cover, it's a bit like, I'd say very similar. It's nice that it's gonna sit in the same style as a lot of those other books. And I'll stick a picture up of them all together to give you an idea. But um, this is really nice. I would definitely recommend it. What else have we got to say about it? Not that much really, it's um, it's good, it's well made. I've got no no complaints about it. I think it's um, it's crying out now for one of these to be done with a Silmarillion, I suppose. And then if that's good, where do you go from there? History Middle Earth, for what each of these? Mm, maybe. Um, okay, good. I don't want to prattle on all day, no one wants that. So yeah, hopefully that's given you an idea. So what I will say as well is there's another version of this coming out, which is a deluxe edition, sumptuous deluxe edition. Um, I have ordered it, but it's not arrived yet. So hopefully it arrives in the next couple of days. When it does, I will do a video and show you what that one's like as well. Um, I think that's it for now. So this has been a look at J.R.R. Tolkien's Unfinished Tales Illustrated Edition. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe if you want. Thanks for watching. Bye.